and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Computer Guys, and today we get the brand new Saturday Legends, I'm a little bit late, I did sleep in, sadly I'm a little behind on today's Ultimate Legends, but I'll try to get through this, get this out for you guys at a decent enough time, hopefully, but the Legends look pretty decent, there was like one or two that I actually really liked, one was kind of confusing, well, one I liked, one was confusing, and one I could potentially use if in the right scheme, so I really gotta look into all these players to see how everything goes, but I am kind of excited to see the on the back of the card stats. I obviously only saw the Twitter pictures. So I got to get in depth and compare the cards to what I got. Kind of see what's going on with them. But let's head over to the auction block. They should be up at this point because I am later than usual. But guys, if you're already to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as always. And guys, comment down below if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any opinions on these new Ultimate Legends. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think of them. And actually, before we go check them out, Let's go do the usual way we start these videos over to the store. Have they changed the price of these Ultimate Legend packs? They have not, which is a shame. Guys, if these ever go down to 120, I may consider doing like one or two. But at this current time, like 180, still it doesn't make sense. If you pull a full Ultimate Legend, there's still a chance that you lose coins. Like that, I, I can't take that. There's a chance that if you pull a decent full Ultimate Legend, you make 10K. There's a chance that if you happen to be so lucky and pull one of the brand new ones, you make maybe 200k if it's one of the brand new ones that's a big if so i don't know i i just don't play my odds with these 200k out of a 200k pack doesn't really seem that fair see now if i could pull 200k out of a 40k pack i'm making five times my value here i'm just kind of making i'm making obviously what i get back plus more on top of it but that's not the point risk reward it's just really not there right now for me but let's head over to the auction block let's go check out all the new cards kind of compare them to what we got and see if they're worthwhile now one of them was Emmett Smith, and I really just don't see a world where Emmett Smith is useful on any team, just because of what they just released. Like they, just, like they already had your running back, so I really can't just base it off that. But still, so Ultimate Legends. So let's see if we get one of the first ones. We're going to see Randall McDaniel. See 420. Even if you pull him right now, one of the newer ones, and you sell him, you only get back after reduction about 475 ish. So at the end of the day, you barely made. You made just about. No, I'm sorry, 375. You made just about 200k, a little under. It doesn't make sense to me, but let's go check out Randall McDaniel. Left guard, I still do want him though. Compare him to my current left guard. Yeah, he's gonna destroy him. Bruce Matthews kills him in strength. I don't even want to do the comparison. He's got 94 run block, 93 run block power, 96 run block finesse, 98 raw. Oh, sorry, 94 pass block, 93 pass block power, 96 pass block finesse, 98 run block, 96 run block power, and 98 run block finesse. So Powered up and chemed up, or even just chemed up, he's going to be one of the best run blockers in the game. He's going to have 99 run blocking all around. And he's going to come close to like high 90s to mid high 90s pass blocking, which is all you really need at left guard. Going to be awesome, especially in the run game, which is kind of what you want in the trenches, the left guard center and right guard. Always like them to have really good raw run blocking. Could, could just be me thinking, but I think that I, that makes sense. But it makes sense to me at least. Speed, 81 speed is really fast for linemen, so that's good too, especially if he gets to the second level. Acceleration, 85, that's good too. Let's see what his impact blocking is as we go all the way down. Let's see some of his all behind the cards. That 96 impact blocking. So again, I think with the right cams and mount power up, he will get that to 99. That's pretty solid. And what is his lead block, which is also pretty important, especially if he pulls 97 lead blocks. So again, should get to 99. Guys, this card is super, super solid. End game left guard, especially if you power him up, he will be 99. Now, I don't remember if he had a, a smaller card this year, like a lower legend. I don't think he did, which would mean... It'll be really, really cheap to power up. It'll just take training. But again, I could be wrong if he had another one. I don't believe he did. But just to make sure you guys want to check that. But yeah, 99 left guard would be end game. Set and forget it on your team. They won't be much better than him for the rest of the year. Next, Ted Hendricks. Now, he's the guy that I'm confused about. He's a guy that could be useful, could not be useful. Now, the issue is his speed. If that speed was like a 90, he would be a lot better because he has six foot seven. So that height isn't, you can't teach height, obviously. He has the height on defense, especially even if he doesn't have zone. He can kind of break, uh, wreak havoc within the in the secondary just a little bit now let's see what his zone is first i don't think it's great zone coverage is a 77 so actually this card could be useful if i get this ted Hendricks and i toss lockdown and he will get a 80 zone coverage which means he does have one of the thresholds for zone a low threshold but he has one combine that with sprinter he'll have 91 speed 91 speed like 99 tackle 99 play rec 99 block shed plus 91 for uh, power so he can't power rush but that's fine he doesn't need to because i don't plan to actually rush him 
but he'll have a 99 play recognition. He'll be able to stop the run. He'll be decently fast. He'll be tall and he can catch and he can play zone. That's, that's what I've been wanting all year in an outside linebacker. Because here's the issue. When an outside linebacker only has an 80 zone with an 88 speed, but he has low play rec and no block shed, then whenever they run to his side, it's over. He's gonna be able, he's gonna be like the stereotypical do it all kind of outside linebacker that just he can when they run to his side or stop the run when they throw to his side, he can play the pass. I think Ted Hendricks actually is a pickup, guys. Despite his speed, if you come up and power him up with Sprinter, his speed could be easily outdone with what you can do with Ted Hendricks. And the six foot seven frame, remember, just like with Richard Sherman, he's six foot three with one of these one, he's always one of the slower guys. Even if he's a guy has like plus five speed on him, he still can pick him off and they get ahead of him because he can just jump so high. And he just has so much reach and comeback ability with how tall and how long his arms are. So I think the Hendricks have a similar effect. Especially on like out routes where like they're about to throw it right up where they throw it too early and he's still kind of sitting there. Could be pretty useful. And then we got to Emmett Smith, who is the LTD running back. No, don't get me wrong, Emmett Smith, cool name. Big name, I should say. Cool card art, cool jersey. The, the whole the whole bit with Emmett Smith as per usual, but they never make him quite great. Five foot nine, so he's really tiny. 94 speed, 94 excel, 96 agility, 98 carrying, 77 catching, 95 elusiveness, 91 trucking, and 94 break tackle. Now, it doesn't sound great like low speed, low excel, decent agility, good carrying, decent catching, decent elusiveness, bad trucking, decent break tackle. Like, everything here is just decent. Nothing like stands out to me. His only on that side is gonna be one of the most agile carriers in Madden. That's about it. I'm not really feeling this card at all. If we go on down to like his stiff arm and see what his other stuff is like, stiff arm is going to be 90, 90 spin move, 94. He's like the jack of all trades. But in Madden right now, we have the jack of all trades that are even better than that. Let's start with Saquon Barkley before we even get into the one of the with Saquon. Faster, way better excel, way better agility. Same carrying, way better catching, slight less looseness, slight less trucking, way better break tackle. So he beats him in all the big categories that matter. And he's an older card. And people are always like, but he's not powered up like Saquon is. Yeah, but Saquon non powered up 97, so it would be fair. It's more fair with the powered up. And you compare him to Barry Sanders next. The card that just released yesterday, which is technically an older card than Evan Smith. Faster, better excel, better agility, less carrying, same catching, better elusiveness, less trucking, way better break tackle. Yeah, I just, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense why they always make Emmett Smith so bad. He's a Hall of Famer. He's one of the greatest. They should at least give him like a usable speed. Like 95 speed usable. 94 is not. 94 he, with Sprinter, he gets to a 97 or 98, depending on which if you have Sprinter or not. No, he gets 95, so he gets 97. You give him at least a 95, then power up gets 96, then he gets 98. With uh, John Madden, he then proceeds to get a 99. But the way they're doing it here, I just, I don't, I don't like these, uh, these Emmett Smith cards at all. They're kind of a waste. And this reminds me, like, this This is what an NFL 100 card looked like. He was so bad as an NFL 100 card, and, like, Eric Dickerson, the original Eric Dickerson and Barry looked like him now, which is kind of a shame that that's how things kind of end up turning out. They've been doing Emmett Smith wrong since, like, Madden 13. No joke, since, like, the first Ultimate Teams. When he first came out, he used to be good, but that's because every card was a 99 overall, like, three stars. They all had 99 stats. But nowadays, Emmett Smith has not had a good card that could be, like, think about this. When you play online, there hasn't been a competitive Emmett Smith card in how long? They, they had never has been and hope they might never will be because they always view him as a really good carrier fundamental guy but this year's in real life fundamentals and smart football playability doesn't show on the back of cards that so his his yes his smart reading of the holes and everything ball carrier vision that's all good but that doesn't show when you're actually using him so they got to make up his first fast first stats at least if you pull him today the only issue is he's gonna be super cheap he's gonna get down to probably like the 400k range rather quickly so I'd recommend you sell him as soon as you get him. He's not that great. But if you do happen to pull him, you can still make a pretty decent amount of coins. Although, again, even if you pull the LTD, you don't make too much. It still kind of sucks about these packs. But it is what it is, guys. They weren't bad. Uh, Randall McDaniel, I probably will end up picking up when his price comes down to like 300 k I do for sure need a left guard, as you guys can see on my team. Left guard is kind of a weak part, uh, point on my team. I still have this Bruce Matthews from like September. So I got to get Bruce, I got to get Randall McDaniel there. And then Ted Hendricks has a small chance to make the squad. A small because it depends on his price. I obviously don't want to replace him, but I've had Von Miller on this team since August. I got to get a brand new outside linebacker, and Ted Hendricks would be perfect if I could just fit him into the spot here, but again, I kind of have to power him up, get his older cards, see what his price go for. I don't want to overpay for him, and golden tickets come out rather soon, so I definitely don't want to go ahead and do that, especially with golden tickets coming so soon, because then I'm going to be lower on coins. I got to save that for golden tickets, but guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below if you guys need help with anything. Thank you guys so much for watching.
I'm sure the rest of today's video, I'll probably do one other today. I was behind yesterday because I missed the whole Easter promo thing because it was delayed as per usual. But should have one more today. But guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.